Hello, so today's video is a Christmas haul. Um, I have two bags full of stuff. Uh, I went shopping recently in Poundland and Homesense. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I got. Um, mainly stuff from Poundland and yeah, like I said, a few things, decorations from Homesense. I'm gonna start with the Poundland stuff. The bags are kind of mixed up a little bit. Um, but yeah, Poundland has some really nice stuff out this year, so I thought I would go a little bit crazy. So first off, I got these um, baubles, these giant baubles. It's a pack of two. That's why you're going to get the glare from my window. But they're like tinsel -y. I think they're going to shed. As you can see, there's a little bit of tinsel up here. But they're like tinsel baubles, and I really liked the colours. I have a traditional tree, so I have all the reds, uh, like red, gold, green, and... Yeah, I really liked these ones. They had like candy cane design as well, which I really liked. And then they had some like silver fluffy ones. Um, but yeah, these were £3, I think, for two giant baubles. I might have to go back and get two more of them um, because I do like them. I also picked up this mini tree. I have a massive tree that I have up in my lounge every year. Um, but I got this little one for my son's room. He was shopping with me and he picked some stuff for his room and he wanted a little tree. Can't remember how much this was. I think it was only like two or four pound. Um, I'll try and put some of the prices in the information box down below if I can remember. But it says it's a two foot Christmas tree. And yeah, I haven't taken it out yet, so I don't know what it looks like. I might do a little video when we start to decorate for Christmas in December. But yeah, a nice little tree. You can't go wrong if you've got a small little space, but you still want to have a little tree. I thought that was a really nice idea. And then to go with the tree, he picked out some baubles. So these were also £2, I believe, and it's 24-pack Christmas baubles. And you've got some glittery ones, shiny ones, and some matte ones. And then this is the same, but in gold. And they also had silver ones. So again, a nice little 24 pack of baubles. They also had a really big pack, which had some really nice baubles in, which I might have to go back and get. I think there may be another Poundland haul coming up soon. Um, but yes, yeah, so I got them. I also picked up some hampers. The hampers are really popular last year. Um, had them in white and red so far. Um, so I picked up two. I'm going to do a hamper for my parents and a hamper for um, my mother-in-law. Um, yeah, just a little hamper. I'm going to put a few bits in. It's a decent size. You could do like, um, you know, a food hamper, which is what I'm going to do. Or you could do, um, put some like beauty stuff in there, like a self-care little hamper set so i believe these are one pound each so either one pound one pound fifty something like that um but yes yeah, so that's the hamper basket and then i did get some shred to go in it is that what this is yes i then got two of these gold um this is the christmas hamper set so it contains shredding a uh, shredded paper a bow and cellophane wrap so that's what you would kind of make your hamper up with. You just pop that in and then put the goodies inside. So I've got two of them in gold to do the whole gold and red theme. And yeah, like I said, I'm going to do food ones. So I'm going to have to grab some little snacky bits. Um, I also got two of these. Um, I got these last year and I really liked them. They're shortbread tins, so they have biscuits inside. And they're really, really nice tins. You can reuse them. I reuse them to store some Christmas decorations. I might put these in the hampers or I might do them as like individual gifts. But they all have different scenes. And I think these are the two scenes that I didn't have. So it's just like a very traditional Father Christmas kind of scene with the sleigh. And like I said, they're filled with um, biscuits. That's what they have inside. And the biscuits are actually really nice. My camera's not wanting to focus. It keeps trying to focus on my face. There we go. So you have the different um, kind of shapes of shortbread in there. And yeah, they're actually really nice biscuits. Like I said, I got them last year and they were lovely. I picked up some gift bags. I got two. These are for my nephews. I'm going to do them little um, 
gift bags for Christmas and I'm just going to fill them with like sweets and little toys. We don't go crazy over Christmas, we literally just buy for the children. Um, obviously me and my husband buy for each other but in terms of like the rest of my family we just buy for the children. So these are for my two nephews and it's just a little cute polar bear scene. And these were 75p, they had several different designs. And it's a pretty decent sized bag, so I'm going to be, I think I'll find it quite easy to fill them up with little treats for them. Also got some stickers, and um, these are some Christmas stickers. My son chose this pack, which has like Father Christmas, it's going to be hard to see them, but yeah, a little Christmas scene. And then I picked up these little teddies, I thought they were really cute. And yeah, as you can see, it was only two for one pound, and that's with all of their stickers. Um, so yeah, I kind of got these to do little pictures, little cards for Christmas cards and for journaling and stuff. I also picked up two of these stockings. These were a pound. They had these last year, but they kept selling out really fast. So I got this glitter stocking, and they're just like, they're quite thin, and they're just, you know little lightweight stockings but they're just going to be filled with i think sweets and stuff um so yeah it has like the gold snowflakes i've got two i need to buy one more i think i'll get another red one and then i have like two red and one gold for the three of us in our house so yeah then there is the red like traditional christmasy one i then picked up this tablecloth and they have two different designs. They have this one, and then they have one that is um, got like holly, is like a green one. So you've got a red one and a green one. I like this one. This one seems to be the most popular as well. People are arriving through to get this one. But it's the red tablecloth with the candy canes. Just a simple design. I think it was £1.50. Yeah, literally there was so much stuff I want to get. There's like little headwear I want to get. There's like tableware I want to get. So I'm definitely having to go back. Also in this um, design, I got a pack of two tea towels. I think this was a pound as well. Was it a one pound or two pound? It was very cheap. Um, but yeah, this one is red with the candy canes, which I liked to match. And then this is just a nice plain red one. I always need tea towels in my house. So yeah, might go back and get another one of that as well. I also picked up a stocking, like a sack, Christmas sack, and these will be for like main presents for my son. They had two designs. I really like this Father Christmas Poundland has this year. This is kind of like their um, Christmas Santa design. They have a cookie jar um, in this design and they have a mug in this design. This was a pound. It's a pretty big sack as well. Um, my son's one from last year got a little bit ruined. Um, it was just old and tatty, so I thought I would get a new one. I like the red theme. I am also this year doing Elf on a Shelf. This was two pound. Um, haven't done this before, but it's yeah, the elf behaving badly, and it's just the little elf on the shelf, and he'll be moving around our lounge during Christmas. And they had two different face faces, um, but this is the face that I liked. He's the guy with the little red rosy cheeks. And his little hat. And I've seen this year loads of shops are doing little accessories for them. So I did pick up the little jumper for him. Which I think is cute. And yeah, they had like we have like a whole stand full of accessories. So I'll definitely be getting more of them. Let me lift this bag up now. I've got a whole one of the bags up on the floor. I got some pipe cleaners which are already open because um, we're going to be doing some little decorations with them. I'm going to make some handmade decorations this year and I liked the sparkly pipe cleaners. Um, I then brought, oh I've got a couple of things from B&M in here which I totally forgot about. I then have some tubes. Poundland should do the cheapest with these, they're £1.25 and I think there's a deal or it's £2 for two of them. Um, and that's the cheapest I've seen these. Even throughout the bargain shops, they are a little bit more in other places. So I've got the milky buttons and I've got the jelly tots. And I'll probably be stocking up on a couple of them. Um, because it's, you know, good little stocking stuffer. 
We then have snowy dippers, and this is going to be put in a treat bag. They're just like, I don't know, like the sherbet lolly dips. You know, you lick the lolly and then dip it in the sherbet. Um, yeah, it's strawberry and apple flavours. So, pack of eight. That was a pound. So, yeah, got them. They have a few sweets this year with the Elf on the Shelf design. I also got some spray snow for a pound. Um, I do window displays for all the holidays. Um, I usually do really big window displays for Halloween. I've just done them because all my windows face like, I live in flats and they face the outside. Um, so yeah, I got some like snow spray to do around the windows. I thought that would be fun as part of the window display. What else did I get? I got some Christmas ribbon. Again, they have lots of different colours. It's a pack of three, just gold. So I've got like some gold string and some tinselly string. So yes, those are for just for decorations. That'll be for like hanging stuff on the tree and just around the home. Also, I could use it for wrapping up parcels. I picked up this, a little stocking stuffer for my son. And it's a little mouse. It's a matchbox. Um... A little matchbox and then you push it up i can't really show you because it, the label's stuck on the bottom but inside there is a little mouse he looks like this and he's a little stuffed mouse and he's very cute i don't think i can get him out to see you because i don't want to like break the packaging i want my son to be able to open it but yeah can you see him like peeping in there there's like a little stuffed mouse he's very sweet so i picked up him i didn't actually realize i have a few christmasy bits in here from um, B&M which I totally forgot about they had these little I need to go back into B&M I haven't been in there since their whole Christmas range is out but I got some couple decorations this is a little hedgehog he was £2 again my camera's trying to focus on my face but it's a little hedgehog I thought he was really sweet I like like woodlandy and animal themed stuff um, I then got this Robin, he was £2 with a little Christmas hat, very sweet. Um, I then got this Teddy, what was he, £2.50, I like that B&M has their prices on the stuff, makes it so much easier. So I got a little Teddy in a stocking, and I then got a little reindeer. Come on lighting, come on camera. Still trying to focus on my face, it's determined today. But yeah, you get the idea, it's a little reindeer. I've got a little pack of cards, 20 Christmas gift cards. These will be for um, probably my son's school, for his friends when they start getting you know, the uh, little post box out. And I've got some candy canes, these are in a bargain shop actually. I picked these up, it's called One Beyond. Um, but yeah, candy canes. I'm actually finding it really difficult to find candy canes this year. I love to grab them every year. I actually use them as decorations on my tree. I also use them, I'll put them in the hampers. I will put them in the kids' little Christmas gift bags. But yeah, I feel like candy canes is like a real essential thing at Christmas. Um, but they're quite difficult to find. I can find like mini baby ones, but full on ones like these, I don't know, they've been really hard to find. But yeah, I found them in one and beyond. I actually used to get really big ones, like this big, from Wilkinson's, but Wilkinson's has now shut down, which is really sad. Um, Cause I used to really like their Christmas range, but yeah, it's no longer with us, so I'm very happy I managed to find those ones. Right, so I'm on to the second bag now, and the second bag is a mixture of stuff from Poundland and stuff from HomeSense, so. We'll try and pick up the stuff. I got this top, Poundland. My Poundland has Pep & Co, which is the clothing. And they're doing their Christmas t-shirts. So I got um, Merry Rickmas. And this is for my husband. It's a Rick and Morty Christmas top. These are selling out really quickly. And this was £8. And that was in the men's section. And then I also picked up for my son um, I got this and it's an oversized just long sleeve top it has a little gingerbread man here on the pocket and it says ho 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 
and this was only two pound so yeah i'm really glad i picked up that and then last from Pepper and Co, this is really Christmassy, but I did pick up this scarf for my son. It's going to be really big for him, but inside it looked so warm and fluffy. And it was only £3, and I was like, do you know what, I'm getting that. It's not going to be a long dangly scarf, scarf that's going to get in his way. I can just go around his neck and hopefully keep him nice and warm. It's nice and chunky. He hates the cold. Um, it really affects him sensory-wise, so... Yeah, I got him that because last year we were, when we were walking to school and it was snowing, he I would give him my scarf. He would get halfway to school and he would have his hat, his gloves, his jacket zipped up and he would still be freezing and I'd end up giving him my gloves and my scarf. Um, so now he has one of his own and I won't get cold. So yes, next I picked up some sweets. Again, these are for the hampers and the gift bags. I bought a bunch of these snowman lollies. Um, they're marshmallows, so like marshmallow lollies, and I just thought they're really sweet and the kids will love them. And I might put one in my parents' one as well, or two for my parents' one. It's vanilla and strawberry flavoured marshmallows. And yeah, really good sweets range this year. I'm going to have to do like a little stock up on the sweet stuff. Let me lift the second bag up. Um, so yeah, I got quite a few of them. I also picked up a few of the chocolate lollies. They have different designs. I got the snowman design. So I picked up a few of them. So I now have some like stocking stuffer things and like hamper stuffing things. I got some candles. We have this new scent and it's elderflower and petals. So I got two of them for some hampers. If you can hear noise in the background, it's just my son making little videos of himself on my phone. <laughs> I then got a sweet plum scented candles. Those are a pound and this was a pound as well. This is a glass one in a glass jar. Oh, I really like this scent. I might have to grab a few of these before they sell out. Um, I then picked up some chocolate coins. You've got to have gold coins. I need to get a few more packs of these. I then picked up some string lights and yeah, 100 warm white and they're just string lights. These are for my son's um, Christmas tree. I then have, <laughs> okay, so back on to the stocking stuffer stuff. I found some fluffy neon slime. We're getting some new toys in Poundland. So these are gonna be for my nephews and my son. I picked up several different colors. Um, yeah, a little fluffy slime pack. They were one pound each. So yeah, I picked up a variety of them. I'm going to start picking up little toys and bits and pieces here and there. And oh, can of ravioli for my son because he loves that. Um, I think that might have been it from Poundland. Yeah, I think that's it from Poundland. So now we're on to the few bits I got from HomeSense. They're starting the but I've got most of their decorations out now. And um, yeah, I've been really liking the stuff in there. So first off, I got I actually got this diamond painting set. And it's little ducks. It's a duck scene with some little ducks in um, some welly boots. These are all the different designs they had. Um, I actually didn't see the owl one. I would have picked up that if I'd seen it. But yeah, I just... This was four ninety nine. It'd be a good stocking stuffer. I think I'm actually going to try this out myself, and then if it's good, I'm going to go back and get some crafty bits um, as stocking stuffers. I also picked up some little mini cross stitch kits. They were three ninety nine each, and I picked up the ladybird. I got a I think that's a finch, a red finch. And then I got some sunflowers. So again, these could be stocking stuffers. Um, I also picked up some little shortbread tins. I'm going to put this one in the hamper um, for some family members. And these were $3.99. I really liked the tins. I got two the same because I kind of wanted one for myself as well. But it's just these little Scottish guys with the bagpipes in the snow. Um, my dad's actually Scottish. I'm half Scottish. So... 
I thought those were really sweet. I really liked them. I'm going to be looking out for cute little things like this from Home Sense because if you go into their food section, they do really nice, cute stuff you could use for hampers. Um, I grabbed, oh, it's a pack of pens just because I thought they were sweet. Little nature themed flower pens. And then, again, if you have a flat, if you have someone in your life who loves stationery, you could do like a little stationery hamper. I then got a few decorations and this one was $3.99 and this was the only one they had. I wish they had more. I would have picked up more. I'm going to have to go back and see if I can find them. But yeah, it does, it's not really a theme because like I said, I'm normally a traditional theme. But I really, really liked this bauble. It's stuffed with colourful sequins and I think once you have your lights on the tree as well, it's going to reflect the colours off really nicely. Um, so yeah, it just it's really it feels really nice as well. It's all like bumpy because it's got like little beads and sequins. Really, really liked that. I'm gonna look out for more of those types. And then I picked up some of these. You might recognise this kind of theme last year. I bought loads of this theme, and it's all in the Indian range, um, passport to India range with this tag. I love this stuff. Um, I have loads of these decorations from last year. I went a bit crazy. And I got the traditional style. But they're like felt and sequin decorations. And I got a swan. Because this year me and my son. We walk down the canal every single day. And we feed the ducks. And there are two swans in our canal. And recently they've had more. We now have. There's two swans up one side. And then as we're walking along to get to our house. Um, there's two swans. And I've had two babies. So there's two baby swans. So we have like four, five, six swans in our canal at the moment and we feed them every day. We go down, I always get right off bread from work and I will take that with me and we feed the swans. And my son loves it, I really love it. Um, they've been very hungry these past few days. So when I saw those swan decorations, I was like, I have to get them. That'll be perfect for our tree this year. I then picked up a train. I think I have one of these from last year. But like I said, if you saw my Christmas haul from last year, this range, I picked up tons. I picked up loads of the embroidered hearts. Um, I have some embroidered stars. Um, when I do my um, Christmas decorating video, you'll see loads of the, this type of decoration. Um, but I picked up trains because my son loves trains. He loves all vehicles. Um, so yeah, I saw that and I was like, I have to have that. They're normally priced pretty reasonable. Yeah, they're, they're around £3.99 um, for these ones. And I really love them. I just love the details on them. Like, look at that. Isn't that just, like, so cool? Yeah, I really, really like them. And then last but not least, I got this little angel. Again, she's a little felt decoration. She was also £3.99. And I really liked her. I really liked her little velvety dress with her little charm here. Um, and she had a nice peaceful face. And yeah, she's got a little fairy wings at the back. I just thought she was really sweet. I'm really into felt decorations. I think they're really nice. And I think they last well as well. So that is everything I got in my recent Christmas haul. Like I said, majority was from Poundland and some Home Sense. A little bit from B&M. I need to go into B&M because I haven't been in there in quite a few weeks so I don't know what their full Christmas range is um, and I will definitely be going back to Home Sense as well they get really nice um, like tree decorations and I'll be looking for things to put in my hampers and yes and like I said uh, definitely more Poundland stuff because I work in Poundland that's why I like see all the new stuff coming in and I'm like oh, I want that I want that and we have loads of stuff I want this year so yeah that's everything um that i brought over this week that wasn't all in one shop that was probably about i think that was three or four different shops i did and um, i didn't get all of that in one go um and i had a discount in poundland because this whole week it's 20 percent off for any poundland employers so employees so yeah i'm taking full advantage of that so there's probably going to be a few more poundland hauls coming up but yeah, that's everything I got today. Um, let me know if you guys enjoyed this video. Where do you do your Christmas shopping? Um, I like to shop around all the different bargain shops. And yeah, have a little look, see what they got. 
so yeah let me know where you do your shopping and what did you like the best out of the decorations i got um i definitely liked the swan uh the swan decorations for the tree they were just perfect for this year even though the color scheme doesn't quite fit into the color scheme of my tree i had to get them because i was like literally it's my son's like routine now where we go down every day and we feed the ducks and the swans that are there so it's really lovely um but yeah that's everything i have to say in today's video i'm going to stop rambling and as always thank you for watching until next time bye guys